I am Dr. M. M. Zameer, consultant pediatric surgeon and a solid organ transplant surgeon from Narayana Health, Bangalore. Pediatric liver transplant. This is one of the most complex surgeries performed in children. It involves removal of the diseased liver from the child and placing a graft. When does a child require liver transplantation? Any child who has end-stage liver disease or liver failure requires transplantation. This usually occurs in conditions like biliary atresia or metabolic conditions. Sometimes children develop acute liver failure in conditions of severe infection like hepatitis or in cases of poisoning. Then they require emergency liver transplantation. What are the types of liver transplantation? Well, liver transplantation is divided into two types depending upon from where we get the graft. Deceased donor liver transplantation is a transplantation where the graft is attained from someone who is brain dead. This usually happens when someone meets with an accident, they have head injury, while the other organs like the heart and the liver are functioning well. In those conditions, their liver is removed and placed into the sick child. The second type of transplantation is living related liver transplantation, which is the most common type of transplantation that is done for children and in our country. In this case, the a part of the liver is donated from the relatives, usually the father or the mother, or sometimes even the grandparents. Children require a small part of the liver. So usually one fourth of the liver is removed from the donor and placed into the child. This small bit of liver is sufficient for the normal functioning of the child. And in the donor, their liver regenerates in a period of two months. What is the liver transplantation evaluation process? Well, evaluation process involves evaluation of the child, the donor and the administrative issues. The child has to undergo a series of tests including imaging like CT scans and an echo for the heart to make sure what kind of disease the child has, what is the cause of liver failure and the extent of liver failure and how quickly the child needs a transplantation. The donor undergoes a series of tests most importantly is the CT angiography of the liver to make sure the structure is good enough or the anatomy is feasible for a transplantation. Liver transplantation is a surgery where we need to get government permission for the transplant. Usually most of the transplant teams have a person called as a transplant coordinator who helps the relatives to get the paperwork done and to get the government permission. What happens during transplantation? Well, the liver transplantation starts off usually during the day. The surgery for both the child and the donor start on in the morning simultaneously. The recipient surgery goes on for about 8 to 10 hours, wherein the deceased liver is removed and the graft liver is placed and stitched and all the vessels are stitched or sutured. Post-surgery, that is after the surgery, the child is shifted to the ICU, is usually in the ICU for about a week and then shifted to the wards. In about two to three weeks, the child is ready to go home. The child will require regular follow-up, certain medications which need to continue lifelong and a little more extra care during the first year after transplantation. After that, the monitoring and the regular follow-ups also is usually once in six months to a year. Children usually grow well and they are even go to schools just like any other children. We at Naran Health Bangalore have a comprehensive pediatric liver transplant program. We have done around 100 liver transplants so far with good success. Pediatric liver transplantation is no longer a myth. It is a feasible and an available option in India as of now. And this is a life-saving procedure for all children with liver disease. So if you know anyone who has end-stage liver disease, the sooner they meet the transplant team, the better it is for the child. Thank you.